Hey, um, thanks for checking out this video. Um, today, I guess I'll be going through some sort of like a guide on uh, how to play this game and yeah, just how to kind of really get um, get started in it. I just, I've just i just been playing the game for a while and I've s sort of found that a lot of the online resources um, aren't as um, diverse as something like a bigger game as like um, Terraria or something like that. Um, so hopefully this will kind of like help some of you guys out to kind of get into the game and yeah, not die as much. Um, just so you can really kind of play through the game and really get to enjoy it and yeah, hopefully, you know, get some more people onto this game because uh, I've, I've quite enjoyed it. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, so first off, we're just going to um, start up a new game. Um, I'm just going to... You can just you just name it whatever you want, um, but just for the purpose of, of this video, I'm just gonna call it guide. Um, so there's a couple of different modes that you can choose from. So hardcore mode, um, basically if you die, then then the death is permanent. Um, so I mean, if you if you're just starting out on this game and you kind of want to get a get the hang of it, I probably I probably suggest do casual mode because if you die, you know, all your items just kind of drop to the ground and you can pick it back up and you can start from there. Um, uh, I mean, it's really up to you, but hardcore mode, you know, can be kind of nice because if you die, you're just like, okay, that's how I died, I guess I'll just start again. Um, single player and manual turns is very important. I've tried real-time turns, but I found that the enemies and that sort of stuff, it doesn't give you a lot of breathing time. They just kind of come at you and you die quite fast, so manual turns is gonna, gonna be okay. Um, I'll just create a... It's your boy. Uh, there you go, we'll go that one. Um, and then I'm just gonna make my character. I just kind of make it the same because I know what I like. Um, and then yeah, we'll get this game started up. Okay, so nice. Um, so whenever you enter a world, um, the, the map seed is going to be totally random as well as most of the items in your inventory as well. You're going to get some seeds, you're going to get um, uh, a bedroll, you know, basic equipment and some sort of um, water skin. Um, so I've gotten a hammer this game, which is good. Um, I don't really need a bow, so I'm probably just going to just take that uh, just to get some of the resources back. So I have a cape, which is nice. Um, so I'm just going to chuck that onto myself so I can get some more defense. Um, basically, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of walk around the map and see what's going on. Um, um, as you can see, I have a sharp object, so I'm just going to make one of my resources. It's going to be the uh, an axe and then a, uh, a knife, so I can kind of split things with a knife. Um, and then I'm going to put some of the items in the quick slot. So first off, I'm just going to gather some resources. Um, there's a spider there. I'm not really too keen on attacking anything too quickly in this game because um, I don't really have any um, Anything to defend myself, so I'm keeping note of everything that I'm seeing so I've got a couple of trees around here um, a lot of water which is going to be great um, So I found a dead tree. I just like to cut down these dead trees. That's iron right there That's kind of later into the game. So you don't really have to worry about that too much um, so basically to this man of these things you're gonna either need a sharp rock or something that I've made here, a stone knife. The stone knife just has a bit more durability than the uh, than the uh, rock. Uh, so I'm just gonna just remember all these. Um, there's an easy way to do this. If you go into your crafting menu, you go to dismantle, then I'll show you the dismantle kind of thing. Um, I'm just gonna do um, so basically you can think of bark in two senses, either making it into kind of the strip bark with later turns into string, um, as well as, you know, some sort of a basic armor source as well. So, uh, what I'm going to start off, uh, doing in this thing is get a little bit more defensive kind of things. So, you know, when you kind of start making your, your armor and that sort of stuff, um, it is going to take... Um, a couple of tries because your dude doesn't really know what he's doing. He just kind of, um, your character kind of fumbles around and it isn't too sure. Um, I'm not seeing too many dead trees, but there are a lot of trees around, so it doesn't really matter if I kill one of these kind of older sort of trees. So, um, so as you can see, as you use your skills, they upgrade. So when they upgrade, um, 
you have a better chance of collecting resources um, from each swing um, in this particular skill, um, as well as uh, reduces the amount of energy that's used uh, per skill. So I'm just basically making as much string and as much armor as I can. Uh, so I'm just going to do that now, and then I'll come back when I've made all the kind of uh, essential things. So basically what just happened there, um, as I was doing, uh, when I was kind of in a tree, I got a different kind of skill, um, for example, metabolism. My metabolism slows, so that means um, I don't need as much food and water as often, um, which is really good. Random things like that happen, like either metabolism, strength, dexterity, or give you, giving you uh, a different sort of thing. Okay, now I'm ready to start um, killing some guys, um, and then I can make this as well with a, with a hammer. So I'm going to equip what I've got, so chuck that on. Everything I do something, enemies get a turn, so you got to be careful um, to see what's in your vicinity. So if I move right into him, he's going to get a free attack. If I move down there, he's going to get a free attack. So basically what I'm just going to do is I'm going to press space, um, and then it skips him... It skips a go, and allows me to, um... Hey, I got some strength. Um, as you can see, I don't really have much energy, so I'm just gonna run away, and try to sleep a little bit. Oh, as you walk, you get a bit of energy back as well, which is really nice. So I'm just gonna run away for a bit. And then when I have enough energy to fight him... Okay. Easy. Okay, so he's done, so... I'm just going to carve them up, and then I'll get some spider meat as well as some string. Um, silk, which can be used to make some, some of these. As you can see, I have... I'm bleeding at the moment, so I'm going to be taking ticks of damage every so often. There's a couple of items you can make to get rid of this. Um, uh, one of the items is this one here, which is kind of like a needle. Um, it uses... what does it use? String and a needle, so the needle would be something like a animal claw or you can use a tourniquet. It depends if you want to be using string, uh, more string or... Um, I think the needle's a valuable resource, so I'm just going to make one of these. Um, and then you just go down to where it is, and then you just heal yourself. Okay, so I've just reorganized my inventory. Um, so, yeah, we have a lot of the basic sort of things. Um, uh, axe, pickaxe, main materials you're going to be getting is wood and stone. Uh, sleeping stuff. So, basically, what I had equipped at the start is a is a shirt as well as some pants. So I'm just gonna I don't need them anymore. So I'm just gonna disassemble them, and you'll get something really nice called um cotton fabric. And you can turn this into bandages to get some health back. Um, you always kind of want to have some sort of healing in in your inventory at all times. So I'm just gonna heal myself, and then that just kind of got me back up. Um, we have some food in the inventory. Um, I'm just looking at my things and my counters and it looks like I'm gonna need to drink some water so I'm just gonna drink this. So, first off you probably want to be trying to find these um, these water water sources on the ground. So, um, what you can do is you can uh, get water from these kind of, um, from the ocean but it's salt water and you can't purify it um, until you get a, um, a later game kind of distillery thing um, so what I'm just gonna do is I'm gonna gather water off the ground and what you can do is you can um, make a hand drill with two sticks um, and then what you're gonna need is uh, shavings as well as dowels is kind of like your main resource to as a kindling source to make fire so I'm just gonna keep clicking this one until it produces a fire um, and then all you need to make uh, purified water via this method is you pick it up with your water skin um, and then you need a fire source um, and then it turns it back into water so yeah um, okay so now I'm just gonna look around for a place to build a house and then we'll go from there okay so basically what I've just done is um, I've gotten my food back up as well as my water, um, so basically I want to keep all these kind of high, um, as well as having reserves as well, so I don't have to get water, you know, really quickly or anything like that, so I've got a couple of bandages and that extra stuff, which is really good, so if anything comes to attack me, um, I should be fine. 
Um, another thing, I got to kill a couple of things, as you saw, um, and then I just kind of degraded some of the stuff to get some leather hide. Um, these will be used to make some water containers later. Um, yeah, so basically what I found to be the best way to make a base is kind of digging into the wall. Um, so I'm looking at two things. Um, I've got water, water nearby, um, water up here. So I have a couple of water resources near where my base is going to be as well as farming area, so all this dirt you can farm in it, um, so it's going to be really good. Um, so I saw that this was already kind of um, dug out, so I'm going to go with this. Um, and basically I don't want to be dropping materials in here, so I'm just going to come out to drop everything, and then I'm going to be building a couple of chests as well to help me out. So yeah, I'm just going to um, show you how to do all this, and then I'll be back. Okay, so basically what I've done so far is I've just made a, um, I made some flooring. Um, you don't really need to make flooring, I just like to do it. Um, so basically the way I did that is I just kind of deconstructed some stones to make a couple stone flooring. Um, another thing I want to show you guys is animal glue. So basically what you need to use it is offal, which is like the inside guts of an animal, uh, bone and some type of liquid. So it doesn't use up the liquid, but it uses the durability of the container which the liquid is in. So I'm just going to make some of these. Um, basically what the purpose of these are is that they increase the durability um, as well as the maximum durability of the item that you use it on. So for example, I'm using my spear quite a lot. So it's at 123 at the moment. Now it's at 838. Um, so 838. And then now it's at 1451 after using all the glue. So basically when you do right click and repair with a stone hammer, what will happen is the maximum dur durability will go down. Um, and then the durability that, that it is at will go up. Um, so things to keep in mind. Um, so basically what I want to be doing is making a door, uh, which I'll do quickly right now. So, like, so this is at 0 0.53, when I repair it, it went to 36.36, so it went down quite a lot of durability. Um, and then I'm just going to make this uh, door. As you can see, my mind's sacrificing some of my health some of my health to make this door. Um, I'm not going to sleep um, inside even though it is safer um, and I'll tell you why. Basically what can happen is when you're in a house and you go to sleep um, sometimes if there's creatures nearby while, while, the, while you sleep um, they'll come to your door um, and it won't let you rest until you kill the thing that's outside. And what can happen is you'll go outside um, and there will be an enemy right there. And as you can see, I have no other exits in this place except here. So you'll be forced to attack whatever's at your door. Um, and sometimes it can be like a really, really kind of hard thing that you're not ready for, like a zombie. Um, and then you'll just get killed. And I've died a lot of times by that method. So two things, um, either make a second exit, so I'm planning to dig out to about here, make a second and maybe even a third exit, um, and then it'll be a bit safe to sleep indoors. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to sleep out here and then I'm going to keep going. Another thing is the difference between resting and sleeping is the rest uh, just keeps you asleep until you get your stamina back. Where sleeping skips nights or day cycles, uh, depending on what one you're sleeping in. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to keep going.
I'm just gonna make a couple of things. Um, for example, the shovel, um, as well as the hoe. So this is gonna be some farming stuff I'm gonna do in a second. Um, I just thought I'd show you what they look like. Um, um, and what they're gonna be used for. Another really great item that you sh you can make is. Um, I'll just reorganize, reorganize my inventory a little bit. Um, another thing you can make is this uh, woven fabric. Uh, so basically, you don't have to worry about cutting down too many trees, to be honest. Uh, there's so many in the map, and then you get some seeds back as well, uh, depending if uh, what stage the tree's at. Um, so you just degrade bark, and then it'll give you strip bark, and then you can turn this strip bark into woven fabric, and then you can make that woven fabric straight into bandages. So. I mean, a really good thing to do if you're just starting out is to just cut down a ton of trees, make, you know, three or four bandages before you even get started. Um, but yeah, um, so I just kind of rest throughout the day, because um, I don't want to skip a night and skip all that time. Um, I just kind of want to be resting and get this energy back so I have the energy to complete this whole thing. So I've just made my base, um, re reorganized my inventory a little bit. Um, and yeah, uh, my base is looking pretty good, it's, it's got a lot of room, um, basically what I do is around the sides I just kind of place chests everywhere, um, and then leave kind of like a corridor to sleep in as well as, well as to access my doors. Um, so I'm just going to go in here, um, I've just made a um, mortar and pestle. So basically when you stand next to a chest you access the, the items inside um, when you craft. Um, so basically what you want to be focusing on now is getting as much leather as you can and be turning it into um, workable leather. The way you do that is you need a mortar and pestle as well as um, some bark, and then you make this thing called tannin. Um, since I have three leather, I'm gonna make three of them. And then yeah, you make tanned leather, um, and then you just want to be focusing on making as many water skins as you can. So I can make three there, um, and then what? I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be focused on trying to make these distilleries, which is going to make life for you really easy, easy, easy. Sorry, uh, really easy, man. Uh, so yeah, we'll just go into here. Um, I'll see what I need for them: a pole and then string. Uh, string is not going to be a problem. Okay, so I've made three of the stone distilleries, and what I like to do is I like to. I like to chuck them really close to the water source uh, because you want you're going to be trudging water back to them. Um, so basically, the good thing about these is they give you an unlimited water source. Basically, so um, each one of them use up a water skin. Uh, so this is why getting leather is quite important right now. Um, uh, but after that, you don't need to use another one. Uh, so basically all you do is you go to a water source uh, and then you can turn seawater into purified water. So what you do is you just pour it in. So right now uh, most of them are going to be empty. So it just says a stone water still ready to be lit uh, to uh, distillate. Um, and then once you have put water in it, uh, for example seawater, it will say it's unpurified. Um, and then after I do this, the next step is to set a fire underneath it and then over time it will um, uh, evaporate that water off and turn it into drinkable water. Uh, so the way you know it's lit is you can see uh, the difference there. So one's black and then one's lit. So you just keep doing your fire until it's um, lit. Um, I'll just kill this thing real quick. Um, but yeah, and then what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to rate it around so you guys can see what um, how long it takes. And awesome, it's done. So when it goes, so basically the uh, animation cycle is it'll be like a red light then it'll turn into a 
uh, not red, sorry, uh, a yellow kind of like really kind of lit up fire, then it'll go um, red and then it'll just go back to black and then it'll say it's purify water in it. So I'm just going to use the water skin. Um, I'll just pour this over myself. Um, and then, yeah, you got water. And basically, yeah, you, you, you nearly have a little bit of water now. Um, and three, you know, I've got two in the tank and I've got four water, so it'll, it'll keep you for a really kind of like long while. Um, and then all we need to do now is I'm going to pick an area to kind of farm. So all you need to do to farm is a hoe um, and this kind of soil here. Um, the way you get this soil is um, you go to a grass plot like this, you use a shovel on it, and then it'll turn it back into this kind of soil here. So I'm going to check what kind of seeds I have and then just plant it. Awesome. And then, oh, what's this one? Interesting. Um, I can see pumpkins over here to the right. Um, but yeah, basically the next step after this is you want to be walking around um, and you want to be finding as many um, seeds as you can and just create a really big farm so you never run out of food. Uh, another really good tip is um, if you ever find uh, cucumbers, they're really good, as well as um, prickly pear. Um, those two are really good because they give you quite a lot of water. And what you can do is you can just walk around and not even have water in your inventory. You just walk around with all this food in your inventory if it's cucumbers and stuff. And you um, just walk around and you eat the food and then you get back food as well as um, the water. And you basically have unlimited water. Um, only thing you got to be wary of is um, if you eat food when you're at 100% hunger, you lose like 20, 20 energy. Um, it's just a way the game kind of tries to stop you from doing that method. Um, so you just walk around a little bit until you have like 99% hunger and then you eat a food. Keep walking, eat a bit of food, um, and what you should always be doing is just, if you find you're walking, um, the same kind of place all the time, you just leave a trail of like food everywhere. Um, and then, you know, if you ever need food, you'll have it. So, um, yeah, that's basically... A good start to the game, you want to be focusing on getting as much leather as you can, creating full leather armor, getting uh, quite a lot of water skins, and then another really, really useful item to have is um, uh, either a backpack or a bag. So these two here, so basically how they work is they, um, they, um, whatever you put into it, it reduces the weight of the stuff inside it by half. So if I put all this stuff in a bag, my weight would go down to uh, 20, 22.1, um, and it's really great. Uh, usually I have like a whole bag of um, just bandages, because uh, sometimes you just run into stuff. Um, but yeah, that's basically the, the crux of the game and how to get through it. Um, yeah, just just be mindful that it is a turn-based game, and uh, sometimes it's better just to plop the character down and not do anything for a little bit and think about what you're doing instead of just randomly moving. Um, how the game works is whenever you level up one of your skills, um, it increases uh, the dif difficulty. So basically there's a score called Malignity. Um, I'm not really too sure how to pronounce it. Um, and that's basically how hard the game is. And e each time you level up any skill, it increases that score and makes the the um, the game a lot harder. Basically, when you get to negative 25k points, you'll find a new wave of enemies come, so like hobgoblins, um, imps, skeleton mages, and that sort of stuff, and at negative 50k, even harder stuff uh, come out, like these, um, these tentacle kind of monsters. I don't know what they're called, but they're really hard to verse. Um, and then if you go above that, then there's, um, there's different variations of monsters as well. They turn red in their name, um, and they get a ton of health as well as a ton of damage. Um, probably one of the hardest enemies is a pirate, um, a ghost pirate, uh, variant where it's red. Uh, it does like 30 damage each hit. Um, and you need like three bandages and whenever you use a bandage they get closer to you So you kind of have to run away use a couple of bandages come back try to attack him um, And that's where kind of bows and stuff uh, become useful, but um, but yeah Just keep upgrading your items and that sort of stuff and yeah, you'll get through it guys um, But yeah, thanks for thanks for watching my video. Hopefully it helped you out um, if there's any more um, tips that you need to need to know about then yeah just I guess comment and tell me what you guys want to see um
Another thing I forgot to mention is um, whenever you upgrade strength, it increases your health as well as your weight capacity. Um, whenever you, oh, some things that get up strength is wood cutting and mining. Um, some things that get up your um, dexterity is um, whittling stuff and making, uh, making like poles and breaking those down. Um, that increases your maximum energy, and then eating food and stuff increases your metabolism. Um, sometimes it's really good just to uh, mine a lot uh, to get your strength up, but you want to make sure that you have half decent gear before you start mining because it does, it's a really bad way to get up your your level, um, your hardness difficulty, so you want to make sure that you have half decent gear before you start messing around trying to upgrade your stats, uh, because the game just gets, yeah. It's pretty cruisy up until negative 25k, but once you get past that point, it, it starts to get really hard, but I mean, the, the bigger the monsters are, um, the better loot they'll drop. Um, you can get these orbs that you can rub, either clockwise or counterclockwise, that make the game easy on you, uh, and they start spawning around 25k, so it's always good to get a couple of those and then rub them counterclockwise to um, get your, get your m malignity back down. But yeah! Again, yeah, thanks for watching, and yeah, have fun playing the game.